Remember the debt ceiling? Scandals threatened to stall PC to-do list vertical bracket Fox News. Fox News Digital Network. Fox News. Fox Business. You report. Fox News Radio. Fox News Latino. Fox Nation. Fox News Insider. Login. Account. You're logged in as. Profile. Log out. Search site. Listen to Fox News Radio Live. In air now. In air personalities. Home. Video. Politics. U.S. Opinion. Entertainment. Tech. Science. Health. Travel. Lifestyle. World. Sports. In air. Previous slide next slide. Politics home. Executive branch. U.S. Senate. House of Representatives. State local. Courts. Pentagon. 2012 election results. Remember the debt ceiling? Scandals threatened to stall PC to-do list. By Judson Berger. Published May 21st, 2013. Foxnews.com. With the furor in the hill over Washington's favorite pastime, scandal, it's easy to forget that lawmakers have some important business to confront. The debt ceiling, you may not have noticed, was hit over the weekend. Then there's the budget, immigration, jobs, the Keystone Pipeline and more, all piling up in the inbox. While President Obama out Friday he wouldn't let every fleeting issue distract him from his focus in the middle class, Congress bipartisan response to at least three scandals effectively has become part of its 2013 agenda. In the House side in particular, lawmakers are launching hearings and investigations, pledging to fulfill their oversight responsibility. This inevitably squeezes out time for Washington's other priorities. In a reminder of the work still to be done, Treasury Secretary Jack Lew notified Congress Friday that he was taking extraordinary measures so the government can keep paying its bills. The action came as the U.S. government technically hit the debt ceiling since a prior suspension in that limit expired. This game of chicken was big news when it happened in 2011, the full faith and credit of the U.S. government in the line. Now, it's almost rote. Lou even referred to the standard set of extraordinary measures in his letter to House Speaker John Bolmer on May 17th. But Lou cautioned in his letter that Washington probably can last until some time after Labor Day, and that Congress should act sooner rather than later to protect America's good credit and avoid the potentially catastrophic consequences of failing to act until it is too late. As in 2011, and with subsequent debt ceiling standoffs, congressional Republicans are expected to see cost-cutting concessions to at least partially offset the increase in the debt ceiling. They have not said, oh, exactly what those will be. Boner spokesman Michael Steele told FoxNews.com that Congress has just begun the process of talking with members and the American people in how to address the debt ceiling, as well as Washington's out-of-control spending. He indicated lawmakers could handle addressing the scandals and everything else. Congress has to jobs, legislation, particularly on jobs, and oversight, he said in an email. The House will continue to work on both. This week, we will consider legislation on the Keystone Pipeline and student loan measure similar to the proposal in the President's own budget. Boner himself was adamant that Congress do both. Listen, jobs is our primary focus, he said last week. But while we're focused on that, we're also focused on holding this administration accountable. He added, this House will stop at nothing to get to the American people the answers and the accountability that they expect. While congressional leaders say they can walk and chew gum, rather, legislate and investigate, it remains to be seen whether one of the two tasks will suffer. Obama, too, is caught between trying to pursue his second-term agenda and responding, almost daily, to new allegations. The House is most focused on continuing to investigate the administration's handling of the Benghazi terror attack, the IRS practice of targeting conservative groups for additional scrutiny and the Justice Department's seizure of 